All right, MMA fans, I'm here with Professional Fighters League light heavyweight fighter, Mr. Chago Santos. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you for giving us a little bit of your time today. Um, you told me that, I mean, I noticed that you are in your car. Where are you coming from right now? Yeah, I I trained this morning and then after I was in a physiotherapist. Oh. Just recover, you know, after training, recover body, like massage, something like that. I just finished now. And where are you currently training? Are you still with uh, Tata Fight Team? No, no, I'm training American Top Team. Oh, okay. Florida. Are... Oh, all right, all right, all right. You're you're in Florida. Yeah, I I guess that, but still, um, how how is your camp going in preparation for your upcoming fight with uh, Rob Wilkinson? So my camp is going very well. Um, everything good. I've been training with uh, great sparring partners, so with my my coach. So everything going well. I mean, at this point in your career, this must feel like pretty standard, a pretty routine uh, for you after all these fights. I was just curious to see, to you know, to know if you watched uh, John Jones' uh, fight uh, last. Uh, you know, John Jones' fight with Cyril Gunn uh, um, and his debut at heavyweight. Yes, I watched the fight. Uh, I expected for John's win, but I didn't even imagine it, how easy, how easy he would make it, and he did. You know, he made it is. So he's he's great. He's one of the best of the world, and I told you before he would be a would he would do a good job in the heavyweight division and uh, yeah he did very well very very well i'm asking this since of course you faced uh, john jones um, back in 2019 uh, you lost by a split decision it was a really close contest on that occasion do you ever think about you, about that fight and your performance in that fight uh, I didn't understand your question. I mean, do you ever think about your fight with uh, John Jones? Uh, I think when people talking about, you know, like it was in my my past. It was a great fight. It was a great performance against one of the best of the world. So, but that's it. I talk sometimes when people ask, when people talk about it, but you no, know, now I keep moving forward. I look forward, look for my my next opponent, my next fight. So it's what I'm seeing now. And do you ever regret anything in that fight? No, no, no regret, no regret. I did everything what I could do, you know, I had injury, serious injury, but anyway, I did my best and uh, I didn't, I, I, I couldn't do anything else. I wouldn't change anything. I, I, I did amazing, amazing preparation, amazing camp for that fight, for, for fight him and I fought. I did my best, and it is what it is. You then, uh, you know, you kept fighting in the UFC. You actually fought quite some, you know, some opposition, some opponents. You fought John Jones, Glover Teixeira, uh, okay, Rakic, but then again, uh, Ankalaev and Jamahal Hill. Uh, you fought many former UFC light heavyweight champions. Um, Ankalaev uh, drew with uh, uh, Jan Blachowicz, but still he proved that he is uh, 
at a very, very high level. Do you feel like, uh, you know, the UFC could have given you some better matchups? Some perhaps... No. Some e okay, please. No, I, I don't feel. I don't feel. I think the position where I was and the fight, who I am, uh, things uh, was how should be. You know, I, I I should fight the top guys because I'm I'm the top of the world. I am one of the best. So I, I couldn't complain. You know, that that all that fights make sense. You know, the the, the guys is the best is true. The best fight the best. So I just fought the all top five, you know. Only I didn't I didn't fight was uh, Iri Projasta, but out of them top five, I fought everyone. So I don't regret, and I feel uh, all that fight makes sense. I see that. Yeah, you have a point there. And after you fought out of your UFC contract, you signed with the PFL. What was it behind your decision to join the PFL? What was your motivation to join the PFL? The fresh air. You know, I don't have too much ears, so I want to do something different. I want to try something different. I want to see a uh, new organization, new promotion, new new, new opponents. Sorry. Uh, no worries. Let me fix you. I'm back, right? Yes, you're back. Yeah, so I'm excited for... Uh, the PFL, the new promotion, fresh air, new opponents, new challenges. So it's motivating me more, you know, fresh air. So I'm very motiv motivated for my next fight. And uh, starting the PFL, it's a great show. They're growing and growing. And uh, I'm very excited for that. Did the UFC make you an offer after your contract expired? My contract didn't expire. I still, I I had one more fight. Oh, okay. I just Sorry. sit, yeah. I just sit with uh, UFC, my manager, and uh, I ask them to release me, and uh, I would try to to go to to do something different. You know, a lot of fighters doing this now. So ask to release to to try something different, especially that point of uh, my career, you know, so that's it, you know, we, we, we uh, uh, finish that in a good way, I don't have any problem with UFC, with promotion, with matchmakers, with anyone, I don't have any problem, and the same for uh, their side, they don't have any problem with me, I always uh, was a good fighter for them. I did my best, and I I took a lot of uh, fights, short notes for them for safe the shows, a few times. So yeah, just uh, I would like to try new things, you know, the breeze, fresh air, and uh, that 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 that's time to do that. You know, I don't have long time, so I decide to do now. And they understand, and we did everything in good way. How many years of fighting do you see ahead your, of yourself? I think it's hard to say, you know, but uh, I think three more years. Three more years. I want to well, enjoy life. I want to enjoy with my family. I want to do other things. You know, I, I have I have been doing this for many and many years of my life. I was in the army. I became a professional fighter, so I went to the UFC, one of the best uh, uh, shows in the world. Uh, I fought the best, the best, the best guys of the world. So now I'm doing new things, new promotion, new openings, and then after I want to start doing new things. You know, I want. I don't want to do the, the same things of my life. I want to do different things. I want to enjoy my life, take care of my family. So I'm doing everything how I plan. 
What is it that you would like to do once you will stop competing? I wanna teach, I wanna teach, I wanna give all my experience to others. I wanna share that. I wanna teach, I wanna help new fighters and uh, keep training, traveling the world. And yeah, that's it, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it sounds like a plan. April 1st, Chago Mareta versus uh, Rob Wilkinson. What should fans expect from you going into this fight? The fans can expect my best, my best version. So I'm training so hard. I will do my best April 1st. I'm going to get the win. I'm going to fox in the... That belt, the PFL belt, to become the light heavyweight champion in 2023. And that's it. I'm very excited. I'm doing my best every single day in the gym. And I will put in the work April 1st. You look like in good spirits ahead of your PFL debut. Best of luck with your upcoming fight. And hopefully, I will hear again from you in the future. Thank you so much. Obrigado.